The stud wall object is a 2D symbol displaying a cut through a timber stud wall showing the individual studs and insulation. The studs are positioned at regular intervals which can be defined by dragging the hotspot at the bottom of the first stud. Each stud can also be individually offset. Additionally, the number of studs in each position can be set by dragging the hotspot on the edge of the studs. The final hotspots allow the rotated posts at the end of the timber wall to be set to either the bottom or top side. All of these options are also available in the parameters. So here we can set the centers. You can also set the width and thickness of each stud as well as the pen colors and fills. With the first and final studs, the actual stud itself can be turned on and off and the rotated studs can be turned on and off and if the rotated stud is on then the position can be set to the top or bottom edge. So turn the first rotated stud off turn the whole group of studs off that's now disappeared we'll turn those back on the final group of parameters relates to the insulation which can be turned on and off again and then it gives pen colours and background fills and if a symbolic fill has been selected, like in this case we've got the insulation fill then the last parameter will enable that fill to fit to the width of the stud wall then we can see if we turn this off it's no longer fitting Now I'm going to put this into practice in an example building. So I'm first of all going to select the stud wall object and select the diagonal geometry method so that we can drag this into the right position at the right size. First of all I'll put in some stud work on this wall going down here. I've got the angle set to 270. In the object settings, I'll set the insertion point and then click between the beginning and the end of the wall. Now that I've inserted this stud wall object, I can set the centers. And I don't need these rotated studs at the end, so I'll turn those off. And finally, I can extend the studs at the openings if required. Next I'm going to position one of these stud wall objects in the exterior wall. Now because the wall's already got uh, insulation as part of the composite structure, this needs to be turned off in the object. The, ang the rotation angle also needs to be reset to zero. can now be clicked into place over the top of the wall. And we'll update the stud centers. At the beginning of the wall, the second stud needs to be inserted at the opening. And the first stud after the opening needs to be offset so for the intersection with this interior wall. And we'll extend that so there's four studs at that point. We'll also extend this, uh, this final stud so that there's two at that position. Later on it's quite easy to edit the studs if one needs to be inserted or removed. 
in this user interface here. If you need to insert a stud, you just select whereabouts in the wall it needs to be inserted. So for example, if we needed to insert a stud around this area, it would be after the second stud. We'll put in the number of studs to be inserted within that group, and then the distance from the previous stud. Click insert, and that has now been inserted into the wall. We can also remove a stud just as easily. We we'll select the stud to be removed, so we'll, we'll delete the one we just put in, which is the third one. Press delete, and that stud's now been removed.